I believe every woman should have a strong voice. They should be able to stand up for themselves confidently, speaking clearly and accurately so that the impression that people have of them is one that is someone intelligent, not just somebody beautiful. My business is to help out those who require this coaching, learning to improve their proficiency in English, be it written or spoken English. My constraints at the moment would be the fact that I'm still lecturing in a university. So I'm doing both at the same time. So my day starts at 4.50 a.m. every day on a weekday. I have to admit in the beginning when I first got married and with my first kid, I uh, sort of resented how my life had to change. But after a lot of self-talk, I realised it's, it's me. If I don't plan my own life, I will not be able to handle so many things at the same time. So my advice is, it's possible to any woman, it's possible. However impossible you think something is, it actually starts with you know, how you feel about yourself. It's possible. I realised a lot of women, they need a lot of help when they start up their own business. And they always complain that I don't get the support I need, I don't have the resources, I can't advertise. So my business is actually aimed to help women to start up their business in an easier way. Having a, a shop is expensive, so the event become a, a um, more affordable way. We also use a business as a platform to help charities, from Home Foundation to the Breast Cancer Society to um, the Cambodia with the kids, uh, Street Child uh, Orphanage in India. You know, I believe in self-actualization. And by, by giving and uh, by helping out, reaching out, you do the good for the community, but also you feel good. So at our event, we constantly provide them the space and also the publicity. I started the business before my son was born, uh, and I'm a late developer as a mother, so energy-wise, sometimes it gets a little bit uh, up and down. Um, I, I think a lot of women who start their own business, you know, also is a wife, a daughter, uh, and the mother, you know, is, 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 is not easy. To, to have a good reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, to have that vision is important to keep me going. I always introduce myself as a full-time mom, part-time entrepreneur and an active volunteer. I've been having experience running business for like, ever since I'm a kid because my family has been in the business for a long time. I'm actually a microbiologist by training, I'm a science person and I'm an NIE trained teacher. So I've always been very hands-on with my child when it comes to teaching. I believe in something uh, called seasons of life. There's always a purpose in doing certain things. So for me, uh, when it's examination period, I just focus on my children. Because the week before, my child was having a major renovation, so I just focus on that. So I have to somehow plan my time well. And then uh, you just need to know that you know there's no way you can do everything perfectly. Uh, yeah, you just do some self-adjustment, I feel somehow I, it's, it's manageable. Community work actually holds a big part of my life, especially I'm, I'm a chairperson for several organisations. So I started off as a district councillor and we discussed and planned what the whole constituency needs. But I'm more active with WeWorks. We uh, actually help women from low-income family by providing them a flexible job opportunity. I, I, there's not like a moment where I think I take a rest because after that will be the children then it will be the house, then it will be back to work, community work. So I'm still trying to keep myself sane, yeah. So Papaya Path is a social enterprise aiming at connecting the hotel industry with green providers. We have a strong advocacy arm. When hotels uh, conclude their projects on our platform, we promote them. Really, it's about um, leveraging the greening of the hospitality industry. Before Papaya Path, I was with an MNC for 16 years and uh, facing a crossroad, becoming a single mother and uh, thinking after 16 years with an MNC, either you stay with the company for the rest of your life or you follow your dream. And I always wanted to do something around uh, the environment and sustainability. So I jump ship. It's insane most of the time, but I believe I'm positive. 
I have to, I want to, I, I have no choice and I want my kids to be proud of me. Since childhood, I've always wanted to be a world changer. So my passion is to empower individuals to understand what is optimal health. I do corporate wellness programs, I do health events. I feel that if we are able to keep ourselves healthy, we are able to maximise our potential and thereby we are able to give back to society, to our family, to our loved ones. I guess um, I'm privileged now, of course, at this stage uh, to have grown up children. But yes, in the early stages, it was really challenging. But I told myself that what matters most is making a difference in people's lives. And because I guess I've always tried to involve my, my kids to understand that whatever I do, whether it's for the community or for the business, um, it was always for them as well. Because I believe in delayed gratification. And as long as we are able to give first, then we do reap eventually. I'm in the bridal industry. I'm a makeup artist and also a managing director for my business. Most brides are always very stressed. They have so many things going on. I don't just do makeup. I even teach them fitness because I used to be a fitness instructor. I used to be 30 kgs heavier, so they always ask me, how do I trim here? How do I do that? But all this kind of thing is just impromptu. I don't really strategically plan my business. I just find that positive attract positive. You don't need to try so hard in terms of business. If you're really passionate about it, it just come to you. I have one uh, daughter, three years old, having separation <laughs> anxiety now. So the reason why I have my own business is so that I can bring her to work. I do programs and play dates with my daughter and her friends. That's another thing that I'm passionate about, to make sure that I'm there as a mom, not just putting her to a place to study and to learn, because the first few years is very crucial, right? My commitment will firstly go to being um, the servant of God first, and then motherhood, and then being an uh, entrepreneur. As a judge, I've been very impressed with the candidates. They are all-rounded and holistic in juggling family, businesses, as well as community service. Uh, to me, it's an all-rounder award, right? And I, I have to give them a good salute. Being a man, I think if I have to do all these three, I think I will stress out quite, quite fast. Everybody has a different way to uh, handle the business and to give back to the community. But globally, it's really impressive how they can share family, community and business at the same time.